John, it's been a remarkably busy week. You have signed six new Titans. You have re-signed four Titans. You have released players. You have also seen some of your players sign with other teams. So with all of this going on during the crazy start to free agency 2021, what were the factors that you considered most important as you developed your philosophy about how you were going to handle this week? You know, the, the goal is to try to improve the football team, at least in this portion at the start of the roster building process. You know, we've got the draft coming up on a little over a month, but had to make some tough decisions on some players, uh, you know, that have been here for the last couple of years, added some new pieces, and we continue to, you know, to kind of look and see what's left out there in the free agent world and, and who might fit our football team. All Titans fans were interested to see what you would do in free agency at the edge rusher position you go out and you get Bud Dupree from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why was he the best answer for the Titans? I remember scouting Bud when he came out of uh, Kentucky. was a first-round pick. Outstanding career uh, there in Pittsburgh. He's big. He's long. He's fast. Uh, he's disruptive off the edge. High motor player that works to get to the ball, whether it's run or pass. He affects the, affects the pass or he affects the set of the tackle. There's just a lot of factors, you know, that we think will, will really fit well in here to our defense. Danico Autry comes over from the Colts, seems to be a complimentary player to Dupree in terms of his size and strength. What was it about Autry that really grabbed your attention? Yeah, the fact that we don't got to play against him twice a year now, that certainly helped um, that he's with us. But, you know, he's a really versatile player. He can rush from the five technique. He can play down on the, on the guard as a three technique. I mean, heck, and he even played him some down uh, on the nose tackle. Uh, he can stand up. He can drop into coverage a little bit. Just a really kind of unique chess piece to move around on the front to try to get us an advantage up there. Adding depth at the cornerback position, the veteran Janoris Jenkins, better known as Jack Rabbit, at this point in his career still playing really good football. Is speed still the name of his game? He covers his guy. You know, Jack Rabbit, Rabbit gets on his guy and, and he covers him up. He's feisty. He's aggressive. We talked about not letting his guy catch the ball and uh, it's something we believe in and something he believes in, and uh, we're excited to add him as well. In terms of the re-signings, you get Jayon Brown back at the linebacker position. Why was Jayon a priority for you? Jayon's playing a lot of good football here for us, you know, in the kicking game, on defense. He's a productive player for us, a good communicator at the linebacker position, making sure that the coverage in the front matched up. You know, certainly when he went out last season in the 2020 season, you know, we had some guys that stepped up, but he's made a lot of plays and we missed him. Uh, so to get him back and, and his you know, young veteran presence, if you will, in the front seven was key for us. All four of your tight ends from last year's team, free agents, you've re-signed two of them, Jeff Swaim, who was the newest, and Anthony Ferkser, who's been with you for three seasons now. Those two guys, priorities for the Titans. Why do they fit in that core so well for you going forward? Yeah, two different, you know, stylistically uh, the way they play the game, the way that we use them, the way that they help our football team, they're, they're different players. Jeff's more of an on the on the ball, into the line of scrimmage. He likes to block. He likes it gritty. He likes it dirty. But he's a big target. You know, he made some big catches for us, you know, in the 2020 season. And Ferkser's, you know, he's good in the slot. He's money on third down. You can sift him around and move him around on some different types of blocks than we use Jeff at. And uh, that, that tandem back uh, with us was, uh, it was important for us. John, you made it clear that your sixth free agency period as a general manager would be the most unusual. Has anything about how it has unfolded all around the league surprised you at all? Yeah, you never know with free agency. It's, you know, it's kind of the, it's kind of the wild, wild west once the, you know, that window opens where you can start to have those discussions and you see guys, you know, come to terms with other, with other teams. And, we, you know, we lost some guys this year, you know, some key members, and, and you hate to lose those guys, but – that's the way the NFL goes. You know, you you've got to um, you've got to be prepared for that, and and you have to make some decisions on where you're going to allocate your resources to how you're going to construct your team. Uh, I'm excited about the guys that we have back, and I wish those guys that you know that that have moved on to other teams uh, nothing but the best, except for when they play us. John, how do you see the next week of free agency going for the entire league? Yeah, I think the dust is starting to settle a little bit. You know, you're starting to see some of the some of the numbers uh, come down on some players. You know, we've still got some 
some lines in the water on a couple guys. I don't know how active we'll continue to be. We're just going to kind of monitor the situation, see if it's the right fit for some guys, if they're still available to come on the team. Does your preparation really turn back more toward the draft now? Yeah, I'll be on some pro days next week. You know, we've got some Zoom calls with with prospects. You know, we've probably already done, I don't know, 70 to 80 initial Zoom calls. I know our coaches are talking to these guys as well. Our scouts are on the road going to pro days. That data's coming in. I watched a couple pro days video-wise that's coming through our server system. So, you know, continuing to evaluate these prospects, seeing how they're going to fit, getting to know them, you know, over Zoom calls, which is, it can be a little difficult, but you know, we're managing through it, and uh, we're going to make the best of it. Finally, John, with all the challenges that you entered the week with, really every team had challenges, but from your specific standpoint, are you pretty pleased how the first five days of all this has gone for the Tennessee Titans? Yeah, I mean, I think the guys that, that we've added to, to the football team um, were guys that we targeted, guys that we were excited to try to go after and get. There were some other guys that, you know, we had some talks with that, you know, we just couldn't get to where um, they were financially with other teams. I'm excited. I'm excited about these guys. They're excited to be here. What we've got going here, the locker room, the types of guys that we have here, the style of football we want to play, players talk about it. And it, it was cool to hear, you know, these new additions come in and, and visit with them and talk to, talk to them about, you know, what other teams, what other players around the league think about our program. Uh, it's nothing but first class. And uh, they were excited to join it.